we are turning our attention to Heart Health Month as we mark the start mm -hmm. of it. Our entire team today participating mm -hmm. in Go Red Day to support the big cause. I got, I got red on the socks. I come mean, on. Well, come on. Conversation starters. American Heart Association says wearing red that can help unite people towards a common goal, raising awareness about cardiovascular disease. Actually, according to the organization, that disease, leading cause of death for Americans, and most of it is preventable, which is why awareness is so important. Kelly Hubbard having the conversations this morning with those in the know. Kelly, good morning to you. Good morning to you, Matt and Liz. And did you know that the average American consumes 71 grams of sugar a day? So we are talking all about healthy nutrition. Maybe as you wake up this morning and start preparing your breakfast, and what a better person to start the morning out with than Dr. Ardwin. She is the director of Go Get Healthy. Good morning to you. What sort of tips do you have as people prepare their meals for the day? Good morning, thank you for having me. So I think when it comes to nutrition, people get confused. There's a lot of marketing out there that makes it very confusing, but really it's all about eating whole foods that are not processed, eating a good mix of protein, fats, fiber. So for people heading out for the day, eating something that's gonna keep them full and not spike those insulin and glucose levels, so it would be things like oatmeal, maybe with some fruit, some nuts, um, maybe some whole grain toast with some avocado or um, an egg on the side. But I would say make sure that toast is um, actually whole grain and you can see the grains in it. There's a lot of um, bread that's marketed to be whole grain, but really is not. Um, and other things like Greek yogurt with some true granola in it, maybe some fruit, but just a good balance of that healthy fat, that protein, and that fiber. Do you have any good substitutes when it comes to sugar, artificial sweeteners? Yeah, so I always tell my patients that if it comes to sugar, or when it comes to sugar, you can have sugar in moderation, but also it's okay to consume artificial sweeteners, especially if the goal is to lose some weight, because it takes, the research shows it takes about a truckload of sugar to actually cause any ill side effects or long-term increase that cancer risk. When I say a truck, that's like an 18-wheeler truck. Um, so mm -hmm. really the risk long-term is minimal and the risk short-term, if you can tolerate it, it doesn't cause GI side effects, artificial sugars are not that bad. Thank you so much for that, Dr. Arndwin. And coming up in about 30 minutes, of course, CPR is another important factor in all this. We'll tell you more about it coming up in 30 minutes, guys. Always good information to know. Callie, thank you.